Q36.5 squad are going to play their cards early here. Use their riders early. So Tiso Kilometer uh, in prospect here. Again, some bonus seconds on offer. Not really a major issue for these riders. Preston uh, train starting the day. 17 minutes and two seconds down and uh, Roland Talman 11 minutes and 18 so suffice to say the GC is a not of any consequence or interest to them the folly thinking that it's possible and now we see that Torsten Trine and... would prefer to be racing alone here interesting that he went for a full-blooded attack there from the big ring down to 10 kilometers remaining of the day and we're getting set to begin the final assault on San Godard today Rodriguez coming out. Uh, is a gear somewhat surprisingly. Uh, looks like he's done and dusted. A uh, man who's been well up in this particular event in the past. Time trial star, a man who contested for overall honours. Train's gone solo. Now clear of uh, Roland Talman. Get aside of some shenanigans out of the front of the... Uh, Main peloton looks like the Catron AG toward Le Mondial wanted to get uh, get going here. Is this Gal, it is indeed Felix Gal, who's a schism. Here comes Paré Pontre now to try and get things going. Is uh, Felix Gal playing the old one to Valentin Paré Pontre coming off that stage victory in Giro d'Italia just a few short weeks ago, and trying to mine a rich seam of form and make the most of it. He's absolutely flying this year. Oh, shoot, and uh, that's uh, very much a shoot, as they say in France, and riders down. Hater down, went down. Yeah, Visma Lisa bike, uh, badly affected by that one. We'll wait to try and uh, just tell you exactly what happened. I looked down at my notes at the critical moment there, so apologies. Let's see if we can see exactly what's happened. Just at the moment, the Paris Pantre was uh, retained. Oh, that's frustrating. For your leader out front still hanging on to an advantage and here we can have the uh, massed hordes of the U80 Emirates squad meanwhile it's all shaking up now El Toro's done his thing now we've got Yates trying to fire Almeida just settles back in it's going to have to be uh, left up to others to do the chasing like only just uh, having a little look around as if to say do I go meanwhile the landscape up here is absolutely it's almost like a moonscape isn't it here comes Skel Moose and they're firing left right and center here Kian Eiterbrooks is uh, in there as well Bernal is going to try and uh, get his way across looks like Almeida has defended with that attack from uh, Skel Moose, nicely timed, nicely judged, and he's left Bernal in no man's land, and Eiderbrook's trying to cover it. Through that series of bends, taking him to the line now, and the final few hundred metres in prospect for your stage winner, and it is going to be victory on the line on stage four of the Tour de Suisse for Torsten Dreyen of Norway and of the Team Bahrain Victoria squad. The biggest victory in his career, a massive success, and glory for Torsten Dreyen as he takes victory on stage four. We await the arrival, not too long now, of uh, Adam Yates, and then we'll set the clock running to see what sort of an advantage he has. Adam Yates through the final bend, charging to the line. The UAE Team Emirates squad playing the cards to absolute perfection today and racing into the lead of this race overall. Across the line, 22, went to 23 seconds. And through the final bend, Joao Almeida in the company of uh, Matthias Schelmus has got the stronger sprint here. Uh, ordinarily, I'd bet on Almeida here. He's going to have to go the longer way around the final bend. He's got the inside, and there's a little bit of a shenanigans here. Schelmus wants this one, and the bonus seconds on the line could be critical here. Almeida winning the uh, time trial, at least ahead of him in the time trial between those two riders. It's Schelmus that gets the second on the line, and one-three finish for the UAT member squad.